I've been using Final Cut Pro 10.7 for a day now, and I feel very much at home with the new features. 10.7 was announced at the Final Cut Pro Creative Summit on the 6th of November and has just been available to download. This video is focused on showing how the new implementation of the object tracking works with the new machine learning functionality. My name's Bruce, and if we've met before, well, welcome back. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and press the bell so that I can make more review videos for you. The Hero Upgrade is the automatic scrolling timeline, and this has been a long time request from Final Cut Pro editors as long as I can remember. The playhead stays on view when it reaches the center of the timeline, and then the whole timeline scrolls to keep that playhead continuously in view. If you manually move the timeline or zoom in, the playhead will slowly return to the center of the timeline and then continue to scroll. Very elegant. But in my mind, the feature that appears to have received the second position rating is the renewed object tracker. The previous implementation of object tracking was released with version 10.6. And to say the best about the functionality of that previous version of object tracking, is to say it did work in some way, but overall it was clunky. And it's no surprise that Apple have revamped object tracking to a point that now works. The third biggest change is the organization of the timeline, so that at a glance you can easily differentiate clips by role with the improved video and audio roll colors. The distinct colors are also highlighted in the timeline index. And further with the organization theme, you can now combine a selected group of overlapping connected clips into a single connected storyline using both audio and video clips. And of course, you're able to collapse them back to their original uncompounded positions. You can also combine connected clips with other existing connected storylines, both audio and video. And finally, not to be forgotten, are the amazing speeds of export that the upgrade permits. And that's combined with Apple's silicon chips that turbocharge the speed of H.264 and HEVC. The functionality automatically sends video segments to available media engines for simultaneous processing thus keeping Final Cut Pro ahead of all the other NLEs, at least in this area. And I would also venture to say that Final Cut is still the fastest overall video editor, even though it doesn't have all the fancy features that Premiere and Resolve boast about. At the end of the day, it's the fastest to get the job completed that should be the editor of choice. But seriously, before you consider upgrading to Final Cut Pro 10.7, watch this word of warning. This is our word of warning first before you update. If you are relying on Final Cut Pro for living, we would not advise that you update until any potential bugs have ironed out. It is best practice to wait until the first point update before downloading the software. Since the version updated today is 10.7, you should wait until 10.7.1 at least. If you are desperate to see the 10.7 version in action, before downloading the new version from the Apple App Store, do this. Right-click the current Final Cut Pro app in the Applications folder and compress from the drop-down menu. This will create a zip file that can then be reopened when you have completed your temporary evaluation of the 10.7 version. Beware that, any project that you open with the new version of Final Cut Pro will be updated to only work with 10.7 and will no longer open when you revert back to your zipped version. Don't open a mission-critical project when evaluating the 10.7 version. But as I've said, this video is all about showing the new implementation of the object tracking. So let's see how that works. In the 10.6 version of Final Cut, when a tracked object passed behind another object, the girl in green in the scene, the tracker gets lost. In the 10.7 version, the face being tracked passed behind the girl in green and then continues to hold the track on the face. But overall, there's not much difference between the other two sets of clips 
where the 10.6 version plays first and the 10.7 plays second. Overall, Final Cut Pro 10.7 Object Tracker is evolutionary, but nothing revolutionary. The organisation of the timeline with collapsed and connected clip and the more advanced uses of audio rolls is another story, and that will be reviewed in my next video. Please like and subscribe and press the bell to be reminded when that next video is published.